Hey guys, welcome back to another extended forms video. And today I'll show you how to collect data with Google Forms. So here we have a sample form with just two questions. Nice and simple. So let's start by going to the settings tab. And here we just want to scroll down to the responses section. I'll expand this and I'll turn on collect email addresses. And in the default section, I'll also turn on collect email addresses by default. So we just want to make sure that we are collecting email addresses and I'll go back to the questions tab and here the next step will be sending out the form. So I'll click on send and now we can see that we are collecting emails and we also have three different sending methods starting with email. There's also a link option. We can see it right here and we can also embed our forms with an iframe. Social media sharing is also possible. Let's use the link method. I'll shorten it and I'll click on copy. Now I'll open a new tab and I'll paste the link to show you what it would look like. Here it is. So the first thing we'll need to do is enter an email. So I'll copy this one and I'll paste it here. I'll also add a few extra characters and now we can provide some random answers for the question. Let's click submit at the bottom. We can view the score, but that's not necessary. So I'll close this tab and if I close this, I can go to the responses tab to view the data. So here we have the response data for our forms and it's being presented on graphs. This is just a summary, but we can change the focus to question. And this view provides insights on the questions only. And then we have individual, which focuses on insights for the quiz taker. If you want to store form data in a spreadsheet, click on this icon and click create, unless you would prefer using an existing spreadsheet. So here's our spreadsheet with the form data. And now I'm going to show you guys how to collect data using an add-on called extended forms. We'll need to install the add-on first. So let's click on the options icon at the top and let's click on add-ons. And I can see extended forms right here, but if you don't have it on your screen, you can search for it. Just type extended forms. Click the first result is the first item here. So click on install, continue, select a Google account, scroll and click allow. And that's it. So now we can go ahead and close this. To start using extended forms, we'll need to click on this puzzle icon at the top, choose the timer option, click on configure. The add-on is loading on the right hand side and now it's ready. So the first option lets us select how we want to send this form. We can access the drop down menu to select the options. And we can now set the timer for the form. It's set to two minutes. We can always adjust that time. There's also an option to restrict attempts and we can automatically submit the form when the timer ends. So once we're happy with the settings, we can click on save. And now we can start sharing our quiz. So we can click on this share icon to get a link to the quiz. I'll click on it and it'll copy the link automatically. And here's what this looks like. So you'll see this page where you can either log in with email or the available social media channels. So I'll go back and we'll preview this quiz with extended forms. So I'll click on get started. And now we can see the timer and our form at the bottom. Let's provide random responses. I'll submit this. And now we can close this tab and let's click on responses on the add-on. Okay, so on the extended forms dashboard, we can see a list of all of the responses for this quiz. If you have the pro version of extended forms, you can export your data in CSV format. You can also click on response to view the responses for your quiz. So we can see our correct and wrong answers. We can also go to the dashboard to view reports. Okay, so now you should know how to collect data with Google Forms. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.